Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about magnets, especially about how are magnets made. Here is the quote for you today. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. Have you been grateful today? Alright, before we go further to discuss about how are magnets made, let us review the previous lessons about the properties of magnets. Do you still remember what are the properties of magnets? First, like poles repel, unlike poles attract. Second, when suspended freely, a magnet will always point to north and south direction. The third, magnet is strongest at its poles. Fourth, the magnetism can pass through non-magnetic materials. Alright, so what will we learn this week? It's about how are magnets made. There are three ways of making magnets, touch method, stroke method, and electrical method. Okay, look at this picture. This is the iron nail and paper clip. Can the paper clip be attracted by the iron nail? Or can we make the iron nail attract the paper clip? To answer this correctly, let us learn how are magnets made. Are you ready? Magnets can be natural, can be man-made. Natural magnet is called as lodestone, while man-made, made of iron or steel, have different shapes and different strengths. So, what are the methods of making magnets? We can use three methods to make magnets. The first one, touch method. Second, stroke methods. Third, electrical method. Now, let us discuss them one by one. Touch method. Look at this picture carefully. The first picture you see that the iron nail cannot attract the steel paper clip. But when we let the magnet touch the iron nail, see, the iron nail is now able to attract the steel paper clip. This is known as touch method. A magnetic object such as an iron nail, when placed at the pole of a magnet, becomes a temporary magnet. Alright, let us observe this picture together. Which bar magnet do you think is the strongest magnet? Yes, the strongest magnet is magnet C because the iron nail attract most of paper clips, which is three paper clips. So the magnetic strength of the iron nail depends on how strong the bar magnet is. The stronger the bar magnet, the stronger the iron nail will be as a temporary magnet. Remember, it is a temporary magnet because once you take away the bar magnet, then the nail will back to the ordinary nail. Next is stroke method. The stroke method involves stroking a magnetic object with a strong bar magnet many times in the same direction. Remember, it should be in the same direction. Now, do you know how can we change the strength of a temporary magnet using stroke method? There are two ways we can do. The first one, by using different strengths of magnets. The second one, by changing the number of strokes. So, the stronger the bar magnets, the stronger the temporary magnet. The more the number of strokes, the stronger the temporary magnet. Next, electrical method. Look at this picture. An object made of magnetic material becomes a temporary magnet when it is placed inside a coil of wire with electricity passing through it. When the switch is on, the iron nail is able to attract the paper clips because the iron nail become electromagnet. So, I have a question. Which object has become an electromagnet? Yes, it's an iron nail. The iron nail has become an electromagnet. When the electricity is cut off, the iron nail loses its magnetism and becomes an ordinary nail. Electromagnets are very useful because their magnetism can be switched on and off. This allows to pick up and drop magnetic objects. So, 
How can we change the strength of an electromagnet? You can do it by changing the number of batteries or by using batteries of different strength and by changing the number of coils of wires. Alright, now let us check our understanding towards the lessons today. What is the answer for number one? Yes, the greater the number of turns of wire around the iron bar, the stronger the electromagnet. What about number two? The more powerful the batteries use, the stronger the electromagnet. What is another way of increasing the strength of an electromagnet? Yes, you can do it by using more batteries.